Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're moving now on to in our blend mode series to vivid light, where kind of things get a bit more serious. And uh, as a reminder, that blend modes you have a base layer at the bottom, and on top of that you've got another layer, which is the blend layer. You add a blend formula, which is the blend mode, and so you see something else. Vivid light is part of the contrast group and it uses, as we'll see, colour burn and colour dodge from the darken and lighten groups. The formula is like this. Don't worry too much about that. I'm going to, for the techies amongst you, I'll give an, go into more detail in another video. But by and large, if it's on the darker side of things, it uses colour burn. And if it's lighter, then it uses colour dodge. That is, the, the top layer is dark. That's how it works. Colour burn, light is used. Colour dodge. So before we get on to the details of it, let's have a look at it in practice. And here we have a picture. And if I hit Control J to duplicate it, then if I look down here at the contrast blends here, overlay, you get it sort of brightens up a bit. Soft light, not quite as strong. Hard light, a little bit stronger. But now when we get to vivid light, then you get a far greater contrast effect. So let's take that off and we'll put in a pixel layer here. Then I'm going to get the gradient tool and draw a line across here going from white to black. And then I forget to take the blend mode here and let's have a look at what happens when you do a colour burn. OK, so this is just the dark thing. See, it goes from black here quite significantly so black stays black on the top. And then at the far end here, nothing much is happening. But in the middle, he's got a fairly strong contrast effect. So this is the mid-tone stuff. What if I turn it to colour dodge? And it's sort of like the other end. It's almost like if you glue the other one on here, you could almost continue. So it goes from nothing much happening here to lightening here quite and then sort of just it's not much use further on. So imagine you took that colour dodge and colour burn and glued them together and that's what you get when you get to vivid light. We got this black on one side, the white on the other, and in the middle it is you've got some you know contrast here transitions. This gives us a clue on what to do about things. So if I go back to that duplicate layer here. And now then if I put on a adjustment on curves and I just drag that in so it's a child layer so it's just affecting that one. And now then if I pull down one end here and pull up the other end and keep it so it's going through the middle, what I've done here is made this more grey which is pushing it all into those mid-tones, those middle areas. So you've got a, you haven't got the darks, you haven't got the lights, you've got middle tones. So now what that means is that middle bit which we saw in the previous thing, that's where the useful stuff is. So if I now go down to vivid light, no, this is actually not bad. It's not as strong as that, you know, just single one. If I look at that again, if I don't have the curves there, you get, it's kind of over strong. But no, it's not so bad. And in fact, I can you know, bring this up a bit here. And so I can, in, can control this with the curves, but still get quite a strong contrast effect. OK, so just key points then about it. It increases the contrast and it's the fourth of that set of contrast modes. And it uses colour burn and colour dodge. Um, middle grey, as with the other uh, contrast, most of the contrast blend modes is effectively invisible and the blacks and whites are preserved but they're not much use. So overall it's stronger than and than overlay and hard light and of course soft light um, and affect all colours and tones. And typically it's used to, to create strong contrast increase as we saw. Colouring images you can use it for and there's some number of sharpening methods and I'll be showing more of those in other videos. Anyway, that's it. That is Vivid Light. And uh, there will be more videos using these in the future. So thank you very much for watching.